Hi guys, I just noticed on my Mantis shelf here that one of the guys' tanks or enclosures is a bit dried up and disheveled and it looks like I've neglected it, so I figured I would make her a new one. And as I'm doing it, I might as well make a video out of it. Let's see what I can do. We've got everything. We've got some gravel for our drainage layer. And then we've got some carbon fiber mesh here. And we've got some activated charcoal, tweezers, paintbrush, scissors, and of course some substrate, some various mosses in my cultures. And that's pretty much it. I'm possibly going to be putting this spider grass in there. But I can't do much because if you disturb a mantis when it's trying to shed its skin, it will die, so I've got to be pretty careful. Let's see what I can do with it. I suppose the first thing I have to do is dismantle this dried up husk of a tank. Look at that, rotted away. It's been a while. Makes it difficult because you can't keep the top on and it must be open, so we end up with moss drying up to nothing and plants dying, especially if you forget about it. Nope, is that rumid? Nope, it hasn't. So, that's one for the bin. Anyway, this is not quite nice substrate, but as you notice, there's no layers, because as I said, they're open. So, <laughs> putting layers in appears to be a waste of time, but I am gonna do it this time. Right, I'm gonna get rid of this. Now what I better do is clean this jar. That's a lot better, nice and clean. Now you want to make sure this is nice and dry as well because even though it seems obvious, if you put substrate in there or the carbon, it can stick to the sides and make a right mess and you have to start doing more cleaning than you need to. So make sure it's nice and dry first. And the first thing I want to do is make a fiber mesh. I always cut it a little bit bigger than what you need. There we go. That will do. Give it a check. Yep, yeah, fits in there. Get rid of this. And move on to the next bit. For this bit, we're going to need a bit of gravel. This is just normal aggregate. You could use it as a driveway or a fish tank or a pond. So it's nothing special. It does get everywhere. Let's give that a shake to flatten it out. And now we're going to put the carbon fibre mesh in. Get this slightly above, all the way around, so we don't get the substrate falling in with the gravel. Yeah. Now I'm going to put some charcoal on top of that. Stop it smelling. It's also a great place for springtails to shack up. So. A bit there. That's pretty cool. And onto the substrate. Let's get rid of these. Now, if you don't know what my substrate is, you have to refer to my one of my other videos where I actually tell you. So I'm just going to pop some of this in here on top here, like so. This is quite dry, so it looks like I'm putting more in than I need, but I'm not. When we press this down, as you see here, I want to slope because I want to give it some sort of depth, even though we can't do much with it for a mantis. 
because nothing can get in their way. So let's do that. <laughs> Give it a bit of a spray. Good spray, the first one. Also bear in mind, this will have an open top and not closed like your normal terrarium. So keeping moisture in is a key goal because the little guy I'm putting in here likes it humid. It will be a giant Asian mantis. Right, only a small one. Right. Well, I've got a bit of spider grass off my plant. If you want to get a cutting of spider grass, make sure you get the tubers on the bottom of the roots there, as you can possibly see them. Remember where the camera is there? See that? And that should grow nicely. It's not too big, so it's fine. Now, while I was mooching around, I found some rocks. And I figured I'm going to do some kind of dry stone wall at the bottom. So, I'm going to first get some like arrangement here and I'm going to leave little gaps under here so I can put moss growing out of the wall but I'm going to first glue these together with a bit of glue so that'll be fine so I'll come back when they're dry let's have a look what we got well seems to have glued quite nicely will it go in here only just a bit of wiggling and we can get that in there let me sort this camera out there we go you can see what I'm going for and I think what I have to do is put the moss in here first so let's grab some moss just gonna use little bits and pack them in this comes with its own convenient substrate if you like so it should be okay watch that in there there's a bit more. Yeah. And with a, a mossy wall covering that hideous glue. A bit more. Not sure we'll be able to get this. That'll be how you'd hide it anyway. Pop that under there. Like so. This mossy wall, I think we'll put a bit in this corner. It's fine, you can rip moss. It won't kill it. Technically moss doesn't have roots, so not doing anything disastrous to it. Can we get any under there? Maybe. Maybe not. Probably better off putting uh, bigger moss tamarisk or something. Right, now we got our little mob with moss on it. Let's see if we can get it in the in the container. But I want it set up so Probably gonna have to put a little bit more substrate under here. Oh, will I? Don't know. That seems to be at the back. Get that out there. Yep. Now, the fun part let's put some substrate in, I think.
trying not to get it on the moss. Okay, have I managed it? Yep. Now I'll put this spider grass into one side. It's got quite a good root on it. Oh. See if I can get it in there with my hand. That resorting to tweezers. It's a push. Yep, might be a push. That should be okay. If I didn't pull that moss out, then I will use that. This shouldn't get in the way of the mantis. And even if it does, it... it's not exactly a hard surface so we've got a bit of spider grass in here so I'm going to do give this a spray good spray that's dried up a fair bit clean this so I can see what's going on on the front get that out there now I'm just going to slop some moss. I keep inventing words when I'm making videos because I'm trying to waffle on and not be quiet. So, if you had a word you've never heard before and you're not English, it's just me inventing new ones. So, I have to put some moss. Still slopping it. I'll put it there. Hopefully this moss will they're better than the last one. A little too high on that spider grass because we don't want to start to rot it. If we got a bit more put in this corner. And a little bit more in there. I think I can get it in there. Yep, squidge in there. That's not a word for you. And a little behind it here. Okay. And a bit on that rock. No trouble with these tubes. To tempt you to put your hand in because it look big enough but they're really not now the back there behind the stones I'm gonna put some tamarisk moss we got there now we got a little bit here that needs filling here I can still see substrate so let's get a bit more moss it's all for a good piece it's nice. Should be able to get that in there. Yeah, it's not too bad. Just get some tamarind moss. Be right back. This is nice. You see that? Let's put this here. You see the moss pedder. I'm just gonna whisk off these brown bits. This is quite happy growing free in the air. So you find it, in fact. So we should be able to just wedge that behind the stones. Let's bring them back in view. Push this down here. I want my leaf back. Where's my leaf? Come here. Uh, 
Oh, it's going to be a pain. It carries on like that, I'm just going to take it off. So. Let's get this moss down the back. That will grow up. Another bit on the other side. Just picking bits off it because you get a bit of brown on it here and there. Just pull them off. I have this in quite large boxes that I grow in. And it appears to be doing quite well. A bit more on that middle piece. Stand up. A spider grass. I think I might. No, no. And that is pretty much all I need for a mantis, which is hard to see here, but when I get it on the shelf with a light on it, it'll be much easier to see it. So, we'll do that. What it needs is a stick. So I'll have a stick and take it back to my shelf. And here it is on my shelf. Looks a lot better now. Unfortunately, you have to have a stick for the mantis because the mantis has to go up the stick and be able to get to the top and some of them can't climb on glass. And the top it's gonna to have a mesh like this one where it can hang from and this should do the trick and there we go it should match in with the others now nice and green well that's about it for this video so maybe you could give it a like consider subscribing and don't forget to tickle me bell Got a pretty good week coming up. I've got some mystery isopods that I can't remember what I've ordered, what species. And I've got an ooth that I'm going to pin up as well this week for a ghost mantis. And at weekend, I'm going to a bug show. So who knows what I'll bring back. In this one here, we're going to add some springtails later on, a couple of small isopods, and I'll add the mantis when everything's settled down and it's all happy. And that's about it. See you later.